Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to turn on or off the smart screen filter on your Windows computer. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up Internet Explorer here. So you want to go on the Start menu and type in Internet Explorer. And it should be listed right above Desktop App. You want to left go on at one time to open it up. If you see this edge icon down here, that's not Internet Explorer, but we'll go through how to turn off Smart Screen Filter for that in a second. Okay, now that we're in Internet Explorer, we're going to go up to the top right and left click on the little gear icon. And then you want to left click on the safety option. And then where it says turn off Smart Screen Filter, you want to left click on that one time. You want to make sure it's set to turn off Smart Screen Filter. Website addresses will not be sent to Microsoft unless you choose to check them. Click on OK. And then you can close out of the Internet Explorer browser. And then at this point, what I recommend doing would be to go back to the Start menu. And you want to left click on it one time to open it up. And now you want to left click on the gear icon on the left side that says Settings when you hover over it. And you want to left click on that. And now that we are on the Settings window, what we want to do is head over to the Privacy tile right here. You want to left click on that. And now on the general area on the left side, it should be the first page we go on here. It should be something now on the right side if you're underneath general that says turn on smart screen filter to check web content that the Windows Store apps use. You want to uncheck this box by or uncheck this oval by clicking inside of it one time to turn it to the off position. So it's pretty simple from there, guys. And I'd also recommend if we close out of the settings window. And now we open up Microsoft Edge. Again, you can get through through the star menu like we did for Internet Explorer if you wanted to. And now you want to head up to the top right where the three dots are all side by side. And you want to left click on that. And then left click on the settings button at the bottom. And now you want to scroll down here until you get to advanced settings and then view advanced settings. Scroll down again until you get to help protect me from malicious sites and download to a smart screen filter. Click inside this oval one time to turn that one off as well. And now we're going to close out of the Microsoft Edge window. And we're going to head back to the Start button. You want to left click on it one time. And now you want to type in RegEdit. So R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match it comes up should say RegEdit right above Run Command. You want to right click on that. And then left click on Run as Administrator. And then when you receive a user account control window, you want to select Yes. Now on the left side here, you want to either double click on the H key local machine folder or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the view. And once you've done that, we're going to do the same thing for the software folder. And now we're going to do the same thing for the Microsoft folder. And I'm also going to make this view a little wider by expanding it on the side here. Probably a little bit wider than that. And now I'm going to go down to Windows. Right here, I'm going to expand that. And then I'm going to expand current version. And now we're going to look for something that says Explore right here. And on the right side, you see there's something that says Smart Screen Enabled. It's a little wider here. And you can see it says Smart Screen Enabled. I'm going to right click on it, left click on Modify. And now for value data, you want to set it to Off. So just type in OFF for value data. And then click on OK. And you can see that Windows Smart Screen, we get a notification out here telling us to turn it on, meaning that we have turned it off. And you can close out of the registry editor. Recommend restarting your computer. And Smart Screen Filter should have been completely disabled on your computer. So I hope you guys stuck through to the end because there are quite a few different things we have to do to turn off the Smart Screen Filter. And I do hope I was able to help you out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.